Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Professor, hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. I'm studying here so I can be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top-tier mercenary professor? A mercenary professor? I do. Though, it's about so much more than being rich. It's about honor. Hey, did you hear? A knight wielding a scythe is roaming around town at night. If he's a villain, I'd like to get the measure of him. Professor. Oh, Professor, are you looking for Captain Gerald? I just saw him in the knight's hall a little while ago. He was talking with a female knight, but I didn't get a good look at who she was. Where could Flane have gone? Do you think she's really been kidnapped? I hear Tomas has been going around asking about her. But he's probably just worried like the rest of us. Though it wasn't just Flane. He was asking about you and Captain Gerald, too. Phew. Oh, Professor, are you training too? I was just about to finish up, but if you want to join in, I can stick around a while longer. Oh no, it's fine. Just do your thing. Don't mind me. Come on, don't be shy. Phew, I'm beat, but we're finally done. I was already training when you got here, and I finished right alongside you. Guess I outlasted you, huh? Speak for yourself. I'm always looking to improve. By the way, Professor, something I wanted to ask. Are you really Captain Gerald's kid? That's a pretty detached tone to take about your own family. What's your opinion of him, then? You must look up to him, at least. Hmm. It doesn't sound like you really appreciate him. You didn't even know until you came here that he used to lead the Knights of Saros, did you? If it weren't for him, you wouldn't be half the person you are now. You probably never even thought about how lucky you are. Oh, okay, this really bothers me. Listen up. I don't care if you're the teacher and I'm the student. I'm going to outshine you. I know you were some famous mercenary before you came here, but let me tell you something. I'm going to be better than you ever were. In fact, I'll surpass you in no time at all. So don't blink. You might miss it. Why are they having a fishing tournament now? Are they just giving up on the battle of the eagle and lion? You're not condoning this, right? Are you? Kid. Professor, Captain Gerald just told me. Vermeer Village is in a bad way, right? The situation there is worrying, yes. But tell me, how was your vertigo? Are you not feeling okay? You should get some rest. Hmm. If you must go to the village, make sure you're in good health before we depart. I'm glad the Remire Village situation got sorted out. But it's not over yet, is it? And I can't believe old Tomas turned out to be an enemy. Who can you trust anymore? Hey, glad I- I really- You're the only one who knows how to teach like Captain Gerald. You get what I mean, don't you? Yes! I knew you-
you'd understand. Thanks to you, I'm going to be the best mercenary you've ever seen. Just watch. Hey, Professor. You all alone here? I mean, you're not waiting for anyone or anything, are you? <laughs> yeah, right. I just passed her flirting with some guy on my way up. Anyway, I saw you heading to the tower, so I thought I'd drop by. I figured you might be lonely. <laughs> hey, don't make it weird. By the way, have you heard the legend about this place? They say if a guy and a girl make a promise here together, the goddess will make sure it's kept. It's a pretty well-known legend. Thing is, the way the story goes, it doesn't work all the time. It has to be the night of the ball. Tonight. So, since it's just you and me here, what do you say we give it a go? I mean, I don't know if the goddess will really take the time for a pair like us, but it's worth a try. Well, you know, let's make some kind of promise. We've got the chance, it'd be a shame to waste it. I mean, not something romantic or anything. That'd be weird. We could promise I'll become a top-tier mercenary. Though, I guess that's more of a wish. Let's see... Okay, I've got it. I solemnly swear to meet you once more on this very ground as a mercenary beyond compare. Oh, but that was all about me. No fair. You probably have something you want to promise, too. <laughs> you really do take after Captain Gerald. Always putting others first. All right then, Goddess. You heard the promise. It's a done deal. Say, Professor, why did you come out here anyway? Ah, oh, well, it is pretty crowded down there. I guess I shouldn't have interrupted. I'll leave you to it. But don't stay out here too long, all right? You'll catch a cold. Captain Gerald's gone. He's gone. And we'd only just reunited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sure this is even harder on you. But I just can't... I can't believe... Hey, Professor. Got a minute? Look. I'm sorry I snapped at you. I didn't mean to lose my temper. I was rude to you. I should have known better. Huh, I thought you might say that. In that way, you're just like Captain Gerald. You accept other people. You don't let petty details get under your skin. Well, when I was a kid, I kind of latched onto him. I've been calling myself his apprentice ever since. He spent some time in the village I grew up in. Actually, you weren't with him back then. Why not? Huh. Maybe he left you with a relative or something. Anyway, back then, Gerald's job was to deal with poachers. Well, they were bandits, but we called them poachers. Nobody in the village could stand up to them. But your dad, he took them on like it was nothing. I was so impressed. All I could think was how amazing mercenaries were. I'd lived in that tiny village my whole life, so to me, Captain Gerald was nothing short of a legend. So I went right up to him, and I told him I was going to be his apprentice. He didn't stick around long after that, but he did teach me a lot while he was with us. Tactics, strategy, training routines, it was all so new and exciting. So after he left, I kept at it, kept training, just like he taught me. Me too. I always planned to meet him again once I became a top-tier mercenary. But I'm just glad I got to see him, to thank him properly and all. I've spent my whole life working to become a great mercenary like your father. 
There were so many times when I wanted to ask his advice, but I couldn't. I just had to make do. That's how I've made it this far. Just hard work, all on my own. But then you come along. And it's like you don't appreciate Captain Gerald at all, or how lucky you were to have him around your whole life. No, oh, it still really bothers me. You might be his kid, but I'm still his best apprentice. Got it? When you changed, even the other professors were taken completely by surprise. There's a ritual at the Holy Tomb this month, isn't there? I wonder what'll happen with that. I'm sure you'll be all right, but don't lose sight of who you really are, okay? However you may change, and whatever new power goes along with those changes, you'll still be the same person deep down. Remember that. Professor. Hey there. So, you've turned against the church to ally with the Empire too, huh? I've never pressed him for details, but Captain Geralt was always suspicious of Lady Rhea, wasn't he? I'm on your side no matter what. I promised him I'd support you, and that's what I plan to do. I'm so glad to see you're all right. I really regretted not being able to keep the promise I made to my mentor. Captain Gerald told me that if anything should happen to him, then I should stick by you. I'm going to do just what he asked. I'll be right here to support you from now on. I'm from Alliance Lands, but I'm only a commoner. The idea of fighting Alliance nobles isn't exactly losing me any sleep. Finding old friends, though? That's something else. No, oh, I'd better clear my head. Captain Gerald used to say a mercenary has to be thoughtless. Guess I finally get what he meant. Hey, Professor. Can we talk? I feel terrible about the last time we spoke. I was trying to apologize and just ended up losing my temper again. I'm really sorry. I figured you'd say that, but I still feel like an idiot. Somehow, I just have a hard time keeping my feelings in check around you. And I think if I don't just tell you what I'm thinking, we'll never be able to have a normal conversation. So, let me clear the air. I want us to, uh, engage. Yeah, I... Wait, what? No, I mean in a duel. I know it's a sudden thing to ask, but I'm not going to feel settled until I know where I stand. Would you do that for me? Good. Don't hold back, okay? I want to see you at your absolute best. completely outmatched. Maybe, but you were definitely stronger. Honestly, that's what I needed to see. You're a true successor to Captain Gerald's style of swordplay. I almost felt like you were him. I thought I was competing with you, but that's as pointless as competing against him would have been. So instead of that, I'm going to focus on keeping the promise I made to him. Captain Gerald said that if anything should happen to him, I'd have to support you in his place. He didn't sound serious at the time, but it was right before he... You know, before we lost him. So, I've decided. I'd like to do just what he said. I know I'm not as strong as I need to be, but I swear to you, I'll train until I am. What do you say? Can I call you my employer? Yes! It's official. I'll protect you no matter what. Professor. The worst part about going into battle is knowing you might have a friend fighting for the other side. You were a mercenary, Professor. Were you always prepared for that? That's reassuring. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Fighting old friends, there's nothing worse. My hands shake just thinking about it. I didn't want Claude to die. Does that make me soft? 
Don't you think this plan to use the entire army for a surprise attack is a bit, I don't know, cowardly? I'm sorry, the word just kind of slipped out. <laughs> Maybe don't tell Edelgard or Hubert I said that. No matter the target or strategy, I'll do my job. Professor, looks like we're finally getting to the end of this thing. Don't go dying on us now, all right? <laughs> I like your confidence. If you're still alive when this is all over, then I'll have kept my word to Captain Gerald. Let's both live to see the dawn of a bright new age. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Professor? What are you doing here? I was talking to Gerald. The sky feels so close, like you can almost touch the stars. I thought my voice might reach him. That the war's finally over. And that his kid and his greatest apprentice did an amazing job out there. <laughs> Maybe I'm overselling the part I played. Thanks, but I was nothing compared to you. I feel like an idiot for ever thinking I could surpass you. I have managed to keep my promise, though. So, how would you feel about hiring me again? Can't exactly go and break my word now, can I? The war's over, but the enemy might still be lurking. What if they're waiting until I'm gone to attack you? But, oh, I get it. You're probably pretty tired of me always trailing after you, huh? Love? As in... As in the way a commander loves his soldiers, right? Of course that's what you mean. Oh, that's... Uh, that kind of love. Can this really be happening? You want to marry me? I... Of course I will. You are being serious, right? That would be an awful joke. I'm sorry. I should have been more honest. All that stuff about my promise a minute ago, it was mostly just an excuse for wanting to be near you. But I'm not really the romantic type, so I had a hard time coming out and saying it. Are you sure this is what you want, though? I know I'm not exactly conventional. Guess I'm really wearing this ring then, aren't I? But I do still have a promise to keep with Captain Gerald, too. You've got a big job ahead of you, building a whole new Fodlin. I'm going to support you through all of that. Make sure it never gets to be too much. <laughs> then that's that. I promise to protect you until death parts us. And I'll be happy for you to do the same for me. to destroy the church so badly that she'll take on anyone who doesn't fall in line? I don't get it. I just can't believe she'd start a war over it, not to mention using such nasty tactics to get her way. Could Captain Gerald's death have also been a part of her plan? Don't you go and die on me, Professor. Captain Gerald would never forgive you. You're not a teacher anymore, and we're not your students, but everyone still calls you professor. Is there something you'd rather be called? Oh? All right then, I'll call you... Ugh, nope, sorry, can't do it. Too weird. Wow. Things would have gotten a lot more interesting if Judith had joined us. I only spoke to her briefly, but I really liked her. 
I hope someday I can be as strong, kind, and level-headed as her. Hey. Under your leadership, we can win any battle, no matter the odds. That's what everyone's saying, anyway. Hope you can keep up with our expectations, Professor. We're finally going to the capital. This will be my chance to avenge Captain Gerald. Once we smash the Empire, I'm sure his soul will finally be able to rest in peace. Monica killed Captain Gerald for the Flame Emperor, and the Flame Emperor was Edelgard. I know that the future of all Fodlan rests on this battle. Nothing else is more important. But for me, this is personal. For Captain Gerald's sake, I'm going to give it all I've got and more. These are Monica's people, aren't they? The ones who killed Captain Gerald. Then this is my real opportunity for revenge. There's no way I can back down from this one. No, I'm okay. Actually, I'm eager to get out there and fight. This is what I've been training for. Yeah. At last, the day is upon us. The captain would be pleased. Don't you think, Leone? Definitely. And he'd be proud of the professor, too. It seems like our efforts have been rewarded. It was certainly a long, difficult struggle to get here. It was. Oh, Gerald. We worked so hard for this. Ah! How long have you been standing there? Uh, <clears throat> Whether or not you choose to succeed Lady Rhea, we will forever be by your side. Yeah, we'll be here no matter what you decide. But make sure you think it through. You don't want to have any regrets. <laughs>